So this is a CL campground and wow, I think there's, there's room for four people in this big grassy area. Very generous with the space. So I've got one day, one full day to explore in the area and I want to go to Burberry. So apparently you can walk from here. So I'm going to have a look at some of their material and uh, figure out what I'm, how I'm getting there. So there's actually two sections to the CL site. This is the other one. Well, I think the road's supposed to be here. Naughty is it to walk through a field like that path there was just full of brambles, full of blackberries, blackberry thorns I should say. If I don't go this way it's going to take forever <laughs> to walk around. I think through there, is that nettle? <laughs> I want to get through there I think. See, this is a proper track. I don't know, it just seemed very um, impossible <laughs> to get into from the other end. <laughs> Came out to a sign saying restricted access. Whoops. <laughs> so I'm guessing the, the dots on the line on the maps don't actually mean you can walk that way. I think I'm coming towards a proper public footpath. But it's another narrow one. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah, cutie. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think I've arrived at the tourist thing to do in the Cotswolds. I think you need to time it right to visit this place. <laughs> Just from all the, um, the cute stone buildings there's a little public footpath sign. I just see if someone else has got the same idea but you kind of you end up at the back of the houses and you realize people are actually living in them and they've got hordes of tourists taking a zillion photos in front of their house. Now I feel back off the tourist trail. Where does this lead? Maybe I shouldn't have carried on. I don't know when I'm going to get back to the village. Does it, do I go this way? And I've lost all the signs. I just passed a lady walking her dog. It's a beautiful view from here though. Oh good, I wasn't on private land. Can you tell that I I really like getting off the bin track and coming away feeling like you properly explored an area? That was just fun. suddenly tired and hungry. I um, started googling to try to figure out how to get home and came across this app that's got all the walks which would, would have been really handy earlier on this trip. So I've, I've kind of got a scenic but quick route to get back to the caravan. It's not quite the uh, the initial plan as usual I kind of wandered. <laughs> so it looks like you've got a few options in what direction you want to walk from here. I need to figure out my way. Today I'm driving to a campground on the outskirts of London. <laughs> so I'm briefly going on the M25, is it? That I've heard is pretty painful. Luckily only briefly. And then I've been nervous about driving off the motorway to the London campground because I used to live in London I know what the roads there are like and how aggressive people are and pushy and 
it could it could go horribly wrong but i've been properly looking at google maps and like taking the little man and taking it down to the the road so the route google maps has suggested to me i've modified a bit and having a look at what the campground recommends they recommend one road that avoids going under the railway bridge so luckily it will probably only be like a two and a half hour drive but i want to be there already <laughs> So if I was caravanning a lot in the UK, I'd probably end up at all the, the CL campgrounds. <laughs> They're very peaceful. I've been impressed. I think, have I stayed at two or three? I think I've stayed at three so far and I've liked them all. <laughs> and just to make things fun, I entered in the postcode into the sat nav, car sat nav, and it's given me a third option for getting there and it actually looks the easiest stays on a lot of the A roads, it does a funny little bend at the end, but if I zoom in with Google Maps, it still looks good. So I might do that. I might just rely on the sat-nav today. The one advantage is it does, it really is good for showing what lane I need to be in, leading up to a weird part on the motorway or yeah. made it <laughs> it wasn't as terrifying as I'd feared it was doable I think I think the scariest part was going off the a1 at that weird roundabout where all the lanes were stupidly thin like there was no way the caravan was even gonna fit on the lane and then it was I don't know it was just a strange roundabout but I got through <laughs> <laughs> Caravan and the car in one piece. It's pretty peaceful. It's definitely out of the way. It's very hidden. I was driving down that road and it was getting narrower and narrower and I hadn't spotted a sign so I wasn't even sure if I was going to the right place. So it's okay, you can use the postcode for this campground and it takes you to the right place. <laughs> ha! Finally managed to get some footage of a squirrel. <laughs> I've seen a couple while I've been here. Grey squirrels, not red squirrels. Today I'm going for a walk to where I worked for overall about four months in London. Kingston upon Thames so sounds like it's about an hour and a half walk from this campground or I can jump on a bus so I might kind of do half walk half bus. So last night I decided to go for an evening walk and pick the wrong direction. <laughs> it felt a bit um, gloomy and a bit spooky in a way but this other direction looks like 
a lovely park and then you eventually reach Hampton Court I can't get over the kind of casual history throughout the UK. 1460, what was happening in New Zealand at that, that time? <laughs> I'm seesawing between jumping on the bus now for the rest of the way. Any bus that comes along I can take. So I made it to Kingston and had a good wander around the shops and the markets were open that day too and then I managed to have a look along the river and spot a couple of canal boats too. Good morning, now I'm just heading to the train station, heading towards the, the meetup. <laughs> and then the main reason I came to London was for the London meetup so I organised it to be in Clapham Junction which is where I used to flat, so it was nice to see the old area. And just one person turned up. It was a quiet meetup this time, but still absolutely lovely to have a good chat. <laughs> 